साई प्रोसीड में फर्स्ट साइड फोर्थ एंड हियर इज द सेकेंड वन यूज द फर्स्ट साइड फोर्थ इज अट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड द सेकेंड बिन नाइंटी डिग्री फ्रॉम द मेन इन सीजन नाउ आई एम गिविंग ए लिम्बल इन सीजन आई यूज आई प्रीफर ए लिम्बल इन सीजन ओवर द क्लियर कॉर्नियर बिकॉज इट वॉज इट गिव्स अ बेटर हीलिंग and the si will be definitely slight lesser than the clear corneal now i am washing out the clip and blue dye giving this elastic substance now we will proceed with rexis usually i give i do a rexis of 5.5 mm in case of 5 to 5.25 mm in case of echo and we can go with a little bigger rexis if we do sis cases is a soft case so we will try to do a direct chop usually i do direct chop for all my cases but if i don't get a grip then for softer cases we proceed with flip and chop so this was the capo tape superficial cortex now i'm giving a small groove and after giving a small groove i went to factor 2 now we'll try to have a direct chop see how nice it got divided so when we are getting a grip even if for soft cases is always better to do direct chop technique than uh, flip and chop so now after making the nucleus into two hemi nucleuses i am dividing each hemi nucleus into four smaller fragments After making them into smaller fragments, we'll bring the pieces to the center of the pupil and emulsify. Never ever emulsify at the periphery. Never ever. So now I'm catching hold of the piece, bringing to the center and emulsify. Bringing the pieces to the center of the pupil. and emulsifying at the plane of iris or maybe little beneath of the iris plane never ever emulsify the iris now the last piece last piece we have to make sure the sharp edge is there that should not be uh directed directly towards the pc because that may cause pcr and the last piece to make sure the surge doesn't happen i am so this completed the fat emulsification now we'll go with uh, by manual irrigation and aspiration to aspirate the cortex now with by manual irrigation and aspiration we'll aspirate out the cortical matter we are done with the cortical matter was now little it, it was a case of pacc so lots of uh, this lens matter and cortical matter are stuck to the pc so now what i am doing is i am doing a pc polishing so that 
those things, those small particles come out. We must do the PC policing because if we don't do, it will go for PC of formation at very early post of years. So nicely, I cleaned the posterior capsule with polishing it. We can do that polishing also with a dialer or there is a PC polisher is also available with a rounded tip. With that also we can do a PC polishing. Just washing out the remaining viscoelastic substance. Now I'll just hydrate the side port and the main port. In such cases, when there is thick PACC, make sure we do a thorough PC polishing because to avoid the early post op secondary cataract formation or PCO formation. So this completed FACO emulsification. Uh, needless process cataract with thick PSS. So when there is uh, very thick PSS posterior to subcapsular cataract, we have to make sure we do a thorough PC policing at the end of the cataract surgery because that will help us preventing the secondary cataract or the PCO formation.